Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Tony. And we're the iRobot Customer Care Guys. We're here to answer your questions about iRobot products. Today, Bartholomew from Baton Rouge writes, My battery doesn't last as long as it used to in my Roomba. Why is that? Tony, here's a battery and it's saying it doesn't last as long. How come? Well, you know, Bartholomew, that's a great question. And today, I'm going to talk about your battery. If your 500 series Roomba is experiencing a short runtime, one thing you can do is a system reset. First, press the clean button to turn the Roomba on. Then, at the same time, hold down the button below and above the clean button for about eight seconds. While you do this, you'll be resetting your Roomba. Then let go. That sound right there will indicate to you that your Roomba has been reset. After you've successfully reset your Roomba, take the power supply and plug it directly into the Roomba's power jack. Then you'll let Roomba charge for up to 16 hours or until the clean light turns solid green. For general battery maintenance and to get the longest life out of your Roomba's battery, you want to make sure that you charge it between each cleaning cycle. Failing to charge your Roomba between each cleaning cycle could lead to a lower battery runtime and lower overall battery life. In addition to charging your Roomba between each cleaning cycle, you want to make sure that you clean Roomba's brushes regularly. Dirty brushes will require more power from the battery. As a result of that, you'd get shorter run times and shorter overall battery life. So Tony, what you're saying is that if I charge my battery properly like it says to in the manual and keep my brushes clean, I'll get great battery performance? That's right, Bill. That's terrific. There you go, Bartholomew. I'm Bill. And I'm Tony. And we're the iRobot Customer Care Guys. And we'll see you next time.